Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous videos, we have seen about the BFN for directive and also the uh, strange behavior bug we have seen about we have seen about the key attribute also in the Vue.js we have seen. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will go into the little bit deeper about the reactivity. So before continuing into the Vue.js components and all those things, just I want to cover some more concepts that is nothing but the reactivity, how the reactivity works in the Vue.js. And some of our subscribers or viewers they have asked me that uh, the issue that is that I have to maintain only one view app instance or can I maintain multiple view apps? So multiple app instance can I maintain? So they used to ask me this. So now in this video, what I will try to do is I will try to explain the reactivity and also the uh, the reactivity means nothing but uh, the view app instance. So how whether we can maintain one app instance or the multiple app instance, right? So let's try to see in this video before continuing to this video if you are coming first time here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front-end development courses all the latest front-end development courses all the including the mobile application all those things i'll try to post now coming to this video now here let let me copy this all the thing okay and let me paste here so same new new thing i am taking new html template i am taking and i am dividing i am removing this all things now what i will try to do is i will try to take the container okay so i am having the container here i will be having the container and here in this one i will be having one id is equal to app okay id is equal to app sorry id is equal to hash app okay so this is the app and here what i will try to do is i will try to write message some message okay now i will have another div with id is equal to app2 so i am having two app instance let's let's think so i will print something like another message so i will write another message so here i am having another view so it, it will be showing that another message now this is the two apps i am having the two apps let's go to the app.js here and let's write constant app is equal to view dot create app this is the create app and here what i will try to do app dot mount of hash app this is the first one and another one what i will be trying to have is constant app is equal to app 2 this is the app 2 remember that this is the app 2 view dot create app of so this one and app 2 dot mount of so hash app2 so i am having the two app instances so here what i can write here i can write data okay it's a function and it returns an object and here i can write message that is nothing but hello world okay so i can write it as hello world and here also in this one also so in this app instance i can write something like data and here also it returns the object so i am i am using in this app instance another message right so hello another world or something like this okay so i have written the two, two view apps two app instance i have created and here in the first app instance i am using the message and in the another app instance i am using the another message so in the same scenario i have written the message here i have written the another message let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output here i am able to see hello world and hello hello world and hello another world so let it write in the h2 okay okay let's try to write in the h2 now if i try to see so this is the hello world and all the hello another world we have displayed the message now here what i need to what, what is the problem i am having is so here we cannot use this h2 message in the app to here why because these two are the separate view instances these two are the separate view instances see here i am not able to show another hello world in the view app it will be. why because we cannot share the data between the two view app instances. So the data which is present, the object which is present in this data property is confined to the this view app instance only. And the data which is present here, it is confined to the only app to instance. So that means the whatever the properties we are declaring here, it should be used in the div id is equal to app to in between this one only. And the whatever the properties we have declared in the app instance, here the app instance, it should be it should be work it will be working in only between the two ideas called app instance so there is no way concerned 
sharing the data between the two app instances. So you need to remember that the whatever the data present in the app instance, we cannot use it in the app to instance. So that those two are different instances and the data data will be different. Okay, so it is no way reactivity will be concerned here. So this is the way how we will be using. So if you want to use total app instance, you can use or uh, one app in one app instance if you want, you can use, or otherwise, if you want multiple app instance also, you can use like this. But what I can say is there is also one another way how we can share the data between these two. So rarely we will be using this type of scenarios. So if you have multiple app instance and you want to share the data between these two, so we can use something like this. Okay, constant data is equal to so I am having at a global global i am having some data okay so uh, let's assume that common data okay i am having one variable common data and here i will write something like common message uh, this is the common message i have written something like uh, this is the common message so i want to share this data for the app instance and also for the app to instance so how can i share is so now i can write this common data okay here something like what i can do is common data common data okay so something like this i can i can write here okay so or otherwise what i can do is uh, data okay, is confined to the common data okay the common data we are having like this and another one what we can do is so in the same in the same scenario we can write here data common data like this okay now what i can do here what i will try to do is let, let me go here okay so let me write h2 here data dot common data dot okay what i can write here data dot com sorry uh, yeah data dot common data dot we are having this common message right we can write it like okay common message so this is the common data and here i can i can write it like this also okay now if i try to check the output here now another message this one you are having some problem right so let's me check data dot common data dot common message okay here also we are having the constant common data and here we have written this one and also we have written like this okay no problem here if i try to check the output here we are console cannot read common message okay fine problem dot common data dot common message Please check okay, we have written the common message like this put here okay. so we are getting the error so let's try to of printing like this let's try to print the data what is the data we are getting let's try to print okay so i will try to print the data now if i try to print the data here okay so we are having in the common message right yeah it's correct common data is not here. so here i can write data dot common message so i can write here data dot common message and here also i can write data dot common message so this is the common message and if i go and if i refresh this one i am able to see that this is the common message and this is the common message if you want you can write here hr okay and h1 uh, app to instance Okay, so in order to get the clear view okay, this is the app to instance data and this is the app one instance data now this is the common message and this is the common message now what i will try to do is here i will try to add one href is equal to change common message okay i will try to change the common message and what i can write here at the rate click dot okay click dot prevent is equal to change message i will write one method change message and in this change message what i will try to do is now in the app 2 i have written right so here app 2 you will be having the methods methods you will be having and here i am having the change message and what i will try to do this dot data dot common message is equal to um, what i can write this is the common message isn't it? So changed the message i will write changed the message i will write so that means so this common message we are changing the value of this common message that means in both the both the app instance we are using the common message variable so that means if we change in the app to instance automatically in the app one instance also it should be changed automatically 
now if i try to change the data if i refresh here i am having i am having a message i am having a link here this is the common message now if i click here see automatically it is changed in the app first app instance and also second app instance right so if i refresh here if i click here automatically see it is changed in the both the app instance so that means the same data we have distributed between the two app instances so this is the something like round method round round robin method something like uh, round around method we are using to share the data okay share the data between the two instances so that in any instance if we change the data automatically in another instance also it will be automatically changed so now here in the common message in the app two instance we are trying to change the data automatically in the first instance also it is it is changing right so here if i refresh here if i click here so this is the common message automatically it change and also in the app instance also it is changing so if you want to use the same data that should be shared across the different instances app instances means you should be using like this method or otherwise you need to use the state management method that is the ux state management method so the same concept the underlying concept of the state management is like this one only so we will learn more about the state management ux concept in the coming videos so this is how we, if you want to share the data if a simplified manner if you want to share the data between the two app instances you should be using like this okay so normally the two different app instances cannot be shared so we cannot use the variable that is in the app one instance in the app two instance we cannot use but if you want to use the share the data between the two instances if we if we change in the one app instance it should be changed in another app means we should be using like this okay so if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you